What's up, YouTube? Big Boss Burns. Boy, Home Depot won't quit. Avery Loads. They're coming on with it. Coming on strong. They won't stop them from coming. Finna do another dedicated run. Got two loads up here for two of my trucks. Finna do another dedicated run. Get it knocked out real quick. Get them loaded up. Make sure they good. I get a lot of questions from people asking me what vehicle should I buy to start off with or what type of vehicle should I buy? Um... And that is a twofold question because what you buy, it depends on your area. You got to view, you got to monetize and view your area. If you see or you have the type of area that the population is um, two plus some million people and most of the stuff is ran in the city area then it's a possibility that you need a 16 footer. If you are in a populate uh, area that's less populated, then like rural country, um, the, popular, the population is not high as most metropolitan city, then you might need a 26 footer one that go two and then if you like me um i'm gonna buy the summer air thing because whatever person bring to me i got something for it you know if it's a big load i got a 26 footers if it's a small loads i got the 16 footers Matter of fact, if it's just a load, then I got cargo. I got a cargo van that'll take the load wherever an individual needs it. So, the question is, it's real technical, but I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to break that question down for you. Um, reminded of a story. And when I first went into the box truck industry, the first truck I bought was a 16-footer. Uh, I bought a 16-foot box truck. Let me tell you why I did it. My son was running for Amazon. And he was running for him, and I didn't even know it, you know. I'm at the house. I wake up every morning. I get some coffee, go outside, you know, and drink some coffee. And I saw him getting up every morning, going to work, going somewhere, going somewhere. Didn't really know where he was going, but I know he was getting up at a certain time, and he was leaving. So he did it for about four or five months, getting up, going to work, getting up, going to work. I didn't say anything. I just thought that the little beaver whatever he was doing it got him up you know well one day i saw that he didn't wake up on time didn't go to work i said to myself well maybe he's off the next day he didn't wake up and go to work i said well maybe this those are his two days off then the next day he didn't get up nor go to work. So I'm sitting there drinking coffee and uh, he came to me and said, Daddy. I said, what? He said, um, I lost my job. I said, oh, you in trouble. And he said, well, what am I going to do? I said, what you mean? You go, what you going to do? He said, I done lost my job. I said, you better not let your mama find out that you done lost your job. You're going to be in trouble. Now, I said that jokingly because I was basically trying to let him know, keep folks out your business. And the only person got to deal with what you're going through is you. Anyway, 
I grabbed the little beaver by the hand and I said, listen here. I said, why don't you buy your truck and start doing your own routes? He said, well, with what money? I said, I'm going to help you. So I went out. I looked on um, Facebook Marketplace and I found the first truck. It was a 16-footer. Now, before I bought that truck, I was already doing my homework, and I had another guy that was telling me that FedEx told him to get some trucks because they were going to hire him paying $3,700 a week just to run some FedEx runs. So I said, okay, that's fine. I'll give it to my son. So I went and I made the purchase of the, um, the box truck. And when I made the purchase of the box truck, I'm waiting on the FedEx contract to come to, to come through. Watch what people tell you, because people will tell you things, and when it's time for them to come on with what they told you, it's irrelevant. Doesn't bother me at all. So I went and bought the truck, and I was waiting on this contract. I was waiting on this contract to the point where I was calling him well, he gave me the individual that had the contact number. So I called the individual. When I called the individual, the individual said that they were paying 37 to 4300 every two weeks for these FedEx runs. So, light bulb pops in my head. I said, ooh, I did my math. I said, well, instead of running one truck with my son, I went and bought another 16-footer. So I had two 16-footers. So we was gonna times that 43, 4,200 times two a week. Great money. I also, too, looked at it real good and I said, well, um, my son stay with me. I said, what is he gonna do with 4,200, $4,300 a week? I said, I tell you what, since he used to working for somebody, I'm going to allow him to work for me. So I asked him, I said, what would I have to pay you a week to make some runs for me? He told me, well, Daddy, just beat whatever Amazon was paying me. No problem. So I went out and bought the first two trucks. FedEx never came through. I had my equipment before I even got a contract. I was smart enough to know, though, during my demographics, that these trucks stay running. Never wanted to go into the business, y'all. I'm good. I'm good. I got enough of what I got to sit still. I'm good. So I bought it just so my son can be in business. Lo and behold, anything happened to me, at least he could still be running and making him some money and be his own boss because his daddy a boss. Contracts never came through. So we sat on the trucks for about maybe three months and contracts never came through. So I got up and did my leg work. And when I did my leg work, allowing people to know that we had these type of vehicles, different dispatch companies, well, two of them took me on. And when the two of them took me on, they basically had routes for the 16 footers. I had both 16 footers running at the same time, making X, Y, Z, paying my son. I ran the other truck for about two months, put another worker up in there, paying them, and they was running for me. I saw that the demand was so big after I got in the warehouse. I said, well, hmm, the money is in the 16 footer, but what happens if I had a 26 footer? Bought a 26-footer, put it at the same warehouse. The 26-footer was running loops around the 16-footers. But the two 16-footers were still working. But they wasn't making the amount of money that the 26-footer was making on a daily rate. And the reason why the 26-footer was running so good is because it was doing county routes. In other words... Home Depot, Avery, Lowe's, they'll load you up with 12, 13 pallets, 13, 12 stops. And this truck was making 
pretty much double, almost double of what the 16 footers was making. So I figured out that the bigger money is running the bigger trucks in my city. Get me wrong, because I know cats in Dallas doing the same run, making just as much as my 26 footers in the metropolitan cities. So when you're looking for a truck, you got to examine your area. Don't let people tell you, oh, you need a 26 footer. You might get it and it might be sitting in the yard because it's not, your area doesn't call for a 26 footer. You're going to mess around and be on the road making something work. But if you're trying to do dedicated stuff, you got to study your area. Your area you might be in might cause for a smaller truck. So this is the formula. Depending on where you at, a smaller truck might make more than a bigger truck. Or a bigger truck might make more than a smaller truck. You got to do your homework. If you don't do your homework, you're going to mess around, buy your truck, and there's going to be no use for it. I have went to several companies, and the companies I went to, logistic companies, they'll say, hey, um, what type of equipment you got? Well, I might say, what do you need? Well, we need a 26-footer lift gate. Got it. I have went to other companies, and they'll say, well, the 26-footer is too big. Do you got a 16? Got it. Okay. And I went to other companies where, no, both of those are too big. Do you have a cargo van? Got it. So sometimes you got to, even if you ain't got the money to buy all the stuff, you got to get the main horse that'll run for that area and then build your business up according to the runs or the demands. So when you asking me what type of truck to buy, my question to a lot of y'all, what area are you in? Because that's most important. What's important is the area that you're in. And when you tell me the area, I can tell you what will be beneficial to you. So in your comment area, when you comment me, asking me what type of vehicle, I can tell you before you make that purchase based off your city that you're in. And I can tell you what will be beneficial for you. So, I have made the mistake at first buying the first trucks, the 16 footers, but it still worked because at the end of the day, any truck, box truck will work. You just got to do your leg work and find out or allow people to know that you have what they need. If you do your leg work, guaranteed that truck is going to be working. Like I told y'all the last time, a truck that's sitting on the side of the road or a truck that's sitting in your yard, that truck is only sitting in your yard because you have not did the leg work to make that truck work. Every truck that got a box on it, every van, every what, regardless of what size it is, don't let nobody fool you. There's some work out there for it. When you go to U-Haul, U-Haul have everything you need for a delivery. They have a 26 footers. They have the 16 footers. They have the 24s. They have the 10 footers. They even have the van. And for your pickup type dudes, they got a pickup for you too. Now, Penske, um, United, any one of those rental companies that's renting trucks, they have what you need. The question is, if those type of places are in your area, that means they were smart enough to equip themselves with the material that they knew a person would need. That's how you evaluate your area. If those type of companies are in your area, those type of companies are smart enough to know that there's a demand for it. So if you bought any type of truck of that magnitude, depending on your area, by looking at them, those are the vehicles. That's an indication. Those are the in, those are the vehicles that's most necessary, needed in your area. Now remember this, YouTube. You study long, you study wrong. Slow money 
don't make no money. Big Boss Burns here, y'all. Let's get paid. Like, subscribe, and hit the comment button.